A New Mexico lawmaker has an idea to curb drinking and driving that is sure to have some people talking. She wants to give convicted drunk drivers special licenses that keep them from buying alcohol, some of them for life. News 13 So Young Kim is live near Eubank and Juan Tabo with more. Jessica Dean, it's pretty simple. The lawmaker thinks after your second DWI conviction, if it's harder for them to get their hands on alcohol at bars like this one, it makes it harder for them to drink and drive. You're not walking real well, you're having some problems, uh, and your driving was real bad. Experts say for drunk drivers, it's habitual behavior. Most people drive up to a thousand times before they're ever arrested the first time. And the lack of enforcement in New Mexico. We have one of the lowest arrest rates ever. Is making the problem worse. Okay, we'll make a note. They didn't, you know, get their ignition lock. Okay, they didn't finish their treatment. End of story. A lawmaker is proposing a new solution. The bill takes away the ability to purchase alcohol after a second DWI conviction. Those offenders would get the same style driver's license as a person under the age of 21. After the second conviction, quote, an offender shall forfeit the privilege to purchase, possess, or consume intoxicating liquor in the state for one year. After the third conviction, the person forfeits the right to buy or drink alcohol for life. Some people believe stiffer penalties could be the deterrent that saves a life. You only have to have one accident where you run over a child or you crash into something. Others we spoke with don't think this law would make a difference. You can still have access to alcohol, have your, your anyone buy it for you. Experts also think restricting access to alcohol is not a real solution. If they want their alcohol, they're going to get it. She thinks the real solution is treating the root of the problem, alcoholism. Start addressing it and treating it as a disease. To combine putative and rehabilitative is the best chance of them not repeating that behavior. The bill also says a person with a lifetime alcohol ban can appeal their case in district court after 10 years, but only if they committed no alcohol related crimes in that period of time. Back to you. All right. Thank you so young. The bill was introduced by a Republican representative from Corrales. You can read it online at KRQE.com or over on our KRQE News app.